Hello from Jamaica. So I'm going to tell you right now what I'm doing. I am with Hello from Jamaica. I'm going to answer some of your questions. I'm using this time to multitask. And so one of the questions I just got asked is, how do you delete late payments on an open account on your credit, an open active account? So I'm telling you guys what I'm doing. You know, every Tuesday and Thursday, I, I post brand new videos on YouTube for Terry's Tips. However, tomorrow, Tuesday, I'm going to be traveling for most of the day. So I'm gonna go live today a couple of times, and then the power of having a team, I'm gonna have my admin, shout out to Mari, um, download these videos and post them to YouTube for my YouTube community so everybody can get this information. So, I'm multitasking. Hey, hello y'all from Jamaica. So, one of the people in Credit Leverage Lifestyle asked me, how do you delete late payments on a current open account? I did a whole video, I will link that video. I'll post this to my stories and I'll put a link to the full video where I actually walked you guys through how to write a goodwill letter. Okay, this is a, hey, hello from Jamaica guys. I wanna answer your questions. I'm doing some work right now and this is a big misconception I see, hey y'all about late payments on credit reports for open accounts. So guys, get this, a late payment for open accounts. So I did a full video on YouTube showing you how and telling you the technical things to do to actually write a goodwill letter is what it's called guys to a company that you currently have late payments with. Then I had somebody from Credit Leverage Lifestyle write into me and say I wrote a letter to the CEO of the company and I got no reply they did not remove the late payment. So action item nugget first of all when you guys are writing letters to the ceo of these companies please understand no ceo is really reading that letter i want you can we be real right now y'all are listening to all these credit people telling you write the ceo write the cfo write the cmo do y'all really think as busy as i am i'm the ceo of my company do y'all really think and i read everything well i read mostly everything do y'all really think that the CEO of Discover, the CEO of American Express, the CEO of Capital One is reading your letter about late payments? No, that's not happening. So stop listening to the nonsense. I'm being real with y'all. Now what you can do is write a goodwill letter. But please understand that a valid late payment, y'all hear me, right? A valid late payment can legally be reported by the FCRA, by the company, through the Fair Credit Reporting Act for seven years. I can't write, can't write. Look, if y'all get some value from this, give me some hearts, okay? I'm, I'm working here, y'all. So a valid late payment can be reported for seven years. Listen to the word, valid. So that means if you currently have an account with this company, you know you've been late. And mind you, they can only report you after you have been late for 30 days. So if your payment is due on the first of the month, and y'all know, I give it to y'all real because I want you to have real results. So I'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere with this, okay? So if your payment is due on the first of the month, if you pay it on the 10th of the month, you are late, but not late enough to be reported to the credit bureau. If you pay it on the 15th of the month, you are late in their system. You might even be charged a late payment, um, a late fee, but you are not late on your credit report. Come on, somebody. If you pay it on the 25th of the month, you are late in their system. They may charge you a fee, but they cannot legally report you to the credit bureau. They can only legally report you to the credit bureau if you are 30 days late. Once that happens, please understand this. I don't care what no YouTuber says, what nobody says. Y'all know I used to work for TransUnion. I've been doing this for over 20 years before social media. I'm board certified, I'm credit score certified, and I'm a certified national trainer. Nobody out here is a certified national trainer. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So I'm telling you guys not what you wanna hear, I'm telling you the truth, the law, so you can stop wasting your time and focus on high level strategy and how to get to your goal. So the company, you cannot force a company to remove a valid late payment. Period. Now, do some companies honor goodwill letters? Yes, I wouldn't have done a whole video on it if, if it never got done. But some of y'all wore it out. So you got one late payment and they removed it, then you tried to do it again. It's not going to happen. You have seven late payments. It's not going to happen. A lot of times what will happen is, is if you have an account with the company, let's say American Express, let's say Discover, let's say Capital One, you have been on time with them. Look, can y'all give me some hearts? I'm telling y'all some real stuff right here, okay? You had an account with them for five years. You were late one time. Billing error, uh, COVID, loss of income, hardship, something of that nature. You write a letter in, they forgive it one time. Guys, the reason why they don't just go ahead and just actively always do this is because if they remove the late payment for you, 
they have to remove the late payment for one million of their other customers, and it defeats the prize. It defeats the purpose of having a credit system where you are penalized for paying things late. So they are very kind of like closed about this, right? They don't just go ahead and do it for everybody, but in certain circumstances. You've been a customer for a long time. You were only late one time. You know, you write into them and you get your, now you get the account on auto pay. They will do it. So, for the person that answers, Mr. Sanders, right? Um, and he's also in Credit Leverage Lifestyle. He said he wrote to the CEO of the company. The CEO is not re reading it. But what I will say is this if you have a good relationship with that company, write more than one time. I have people who have written one letter, it was a no. The second letter, it was a no. The third letter, it was a no. Then the fourth letter, it gets on somebody's desk who's like, oh, okay, it, we'll, we'll remove that late payment. We'll forgive them. We'll make an exception, okay? So my first nugget is be persistent. If you truly have a good relationship with that company and it's an open account and you've only been late like one time, then sometimes you just it just needs to get on the right person's desk that will actually forgive it for you. The second thing is please understand, come on, so that, that you cannot, what does it say? Multiple late payments, um, but in good standing for two to three years. See, that's where you said, so good, and I thank you for being transparent, but it's a thing that says multiple late payments. Guys, a lot of times with a goodwill letter, they may remove one late payment, maybe two. But if you've been late three, four, five, seven times, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, they're not gonna do that. What I would say to you, one reason, hey guys, Invest in Patreon, invest in Credit Levels Lifestyle, invest in a strategy session with me because there's high level strategy. For example, if I have five late payments on an account and I'm really trying to get a late payment removed and it's an open account with the creditor, I'm going to ask them to remove the most recent one. Remember this, nugget, high level nugget. The more recent the late payment, it's more it's hurting you. So if I have a late payment from November of 2020, and then I have a late payment from February up to, uh, well, November of 2022, then I have a late payment of January from 2022, and then I have a late payment from March of 2021. If that was my account, and I've never asked them to remove anything, I would ask them to remove what payment? The November 2022. Why? Because the more recent the late payment, the more it hurts you. So you being strategic. Some of y'all are getting y'all goodwill letters ignored because you're asking for too much. Don't ask them to move three and four and five and seven. They're absolutely possibly not going to do that because then that opens up the floodgates and they have to do it for everybody. But for giving one, maybe two, they may do. So go for the most recent. The other thing, guys, and I'm telling y'all some real stuff right here, like some real stuff because honestly, getting one late payment removed, especially from an open account, guys, can easily increase your score 20, 30, 50 something points. And guess what? You're 50 points away from a mortgage pre approval, a cash out refinance, business credit. I'm telling you some stuff right now that is equal to six and seven figures, real talk, okay? So this is where. Ask them for the most recent one, get that removed, pay on time, and then maybe trying to ask for something else, but never ask them to do a whole bunch at one time, guys. I'm sorry for moving around. I have a stand here, but it's only holding the phone this way, <laughs> so I have to hold my phone, okay? And so, um, and so, so this is where you, you, you leverage that relationship, but you only ask for the most recent one, okay, guys? Now, the other high-level strategy um, right there, guys, is that look at other areas of your credit report. Some of you are five, 10, 15, 20 points away from your goal. What is your goal? Is your goal a mortgage? Is your goal a credit card? Is your goal cash out refinance? Is your goal business credit? What is your goal? Because some of y'all have a 680 credit score. You working for seven months on some late payment and I can get you a mortgage pre-approval right now with the late payment. Come on somebody, don't, don't let that go over your head. Some of y'all are playing around, wait, no, I'm gonna say playing around but you're wasting time on things that are not important. The goal is to leverage your credit to build wealth, not to harp over a score. I could care less whether you're a 620, a 650, or a 680. If your goal is to buy a house and you have one late payment, you don't worked on this late payment for six months, and I can make a phone call tomorrow and get you mortgage pre-approval with that late payment. So what is the takeaway, guys? What is your goal? Where are you at right now? And is that late payment keeping you from your goal? Because no matter what, guys, the longer you wait, hey, Mike, the longer, the older the late payment is, the less it's going to hurt you. So paying your bills on time, adding credit builder accounts. Guys, look at Nugget. 
looking at other areas of your credit report to increase your score is something that I want all of you to learn to do. This is why in my Patreon I teach high level strategy to my leaders. Why? You're focusing on this one late payment, it's not getting removed. You done wrote 10,000 letters, but you got high utilization that can, co that can come down. You have a credit builder account that you can add. You have a collection that you can settle or do a pay for delete. You have inquiries that can come off. So what is, what is my goal with what I'm saying to you guys? I teach you guys, teach, 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 because I want you to become financially literate, get the education and be empowered and be able to look at your report and say, I'm going to try to get this late payment removed. I'm going to try for 60 days. After that, that does not get removed. My goal is a mortgage pre-approval. I need a 640 credit score. I am then going to move to something I can control. I can control a settlement. I can control um, my hard inquiry sometimes. I can control lowering utilization. So I'm going to focus in an area that I can control and get to my actual goal as opposed to spending one more year on trying to remove this one late payment that may not come off because it started off being a valid late payment. Got it, got it, good. So I'm trying not to keep these too long because I'm going to have Mari download these and post them to YouTube. But this is a Jamaica version of my Terry's tips on removing late payments. And for some of the people that comments and said, I wrote a good will letter. It's an open account and the late payments did not come off. Takeaway, a valid late payment can be reported for seven years legally. You cannot force a company to remove a valid late payment. So then you're going to focus on other areas of your credit report to increase your score that you can control so we can get you to the goal. The goal is not credit. Let me say it again, y'all. Y'all can't see, but I'm like a little bit snatched in my bathing suit. Okay? 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 I had to put a cover up because we're showing too much for y'all. I'm going to leave that right there, okay? Because I'm a little proud of myself. But anywho, right, the goal is not credit. Credit is a tool to help you get to your goal, your legacy. Look, somebody laughing, look. Your legacy, your business credit, your cash out refinance, your mortgage pre-approval, right? So we're not focused, we're not obsessing over a score. We're obsessing over can I get to my goal with the way my credit is right now. Got it, got it, good. I think I saw somebody ask something about a charge off. Let me just say this, I can't go back to the, um, y'all know I don't know how to work any of this. But a charge off is a closed account. It is a zero, it, well it may or may not be a zero balance. But once it is a charge off, it cannot be anything else. It cannot be a positive account. So you can dispute it, but the same thing guys, a valid. Stop letting these credit repair people snatch your money up that you could have used to build business credit or to do settlements or to pay down utilization for things that they cannot guarantee. Nobody, somebody say it with me, no body, no body. Nobody, like they're gonna be made on YouTube because they hate when I play around. Nobody can guarantee that a valid, valid, valid item can be removed. So this is why when y'all jump in my DM, I wanna pay you to remove a collection. I wanna pay you to remove a repo. I wanna pay you to remove a collection. I never set myself up for failure because even though, come on somebody, nobody, even though I get higher results because I know the laws and know how to write things, there's still no way to guarantee it. So what I do is I educate you, educate you, educate you. So we can say, we can't get this negative item deleted, it's valid, but what can we do? Where can we build? What are the alternatives? What is my goal? And I can still help you get to your goal. Amen, y'all. So I hope that, that was helpful. I have a, um, I think I have one more video. I might do one or more, two more videos. I'm gonna jump in my Patreon and give them a message too. But guys, I have to go, I'm about to go on the beach. So y'all saw me earlier, so y'all, my skin does not like sun, and it's super irritated. I have hives, I'm breaking out, it's red. So y'all just gonna have to deal with this, like, women out there, I mean, women, men out there, we gotta be real about, we don't look the best all the time. I'm having a blast, and I got cortisone cream on my face. <laughs> I am broken out, I am red, I have a rash, and I'm still about to have fun. I'll deal with it when I get home. All right, y'all, so have a super amazing day. I hope that that was helpful. Bye, y'all. And get those late payments. No more late payments. Get on auto pay for your minimum payment. And then invest in a coaching session so I can help you have six and seven figures in a legacy. Amen. All right, y'all. Have a nice day.